journey with him. Um, he just got here a week ago. He's never been anywhere else. So from Kenya to Texas. And so what our plan is to ask him a bunch of questions and then a year from now, ask him the same questions. And we get to kind of see the growth and the struggles and things that we could do better. Um, so this is actually good. And it's very gracious for you to do this. You're very, very gracious. Okay, so this is Benjamin. I have not given them any of these questions because I want them to speak from here instead of here. So, and then what we're going to do is, as Leon said, if you will write down the questions, that way we can kind of log that. And like I said, we want to keep track of it. Okay, so the first thing, kind of let us know where you're from. I already said Kenya, but kind of explain your area and what it's like. Maybe your family, if you have a large family or a small family. Or... Okay, so in Kenya, I come from a province. Like a, in Kenya, the states we call them province. So my province is called Nyanza. So Nyanza is where even President Obama, his roots, the father, was like from the same province. So Nyanza is like around Lake Victoria. I think you've heard of it, the mm -hmm. second largest lake. So around there, I come from a tribe called Luo. So Luo, they trace their origins from Southern Sudan. That's where they migrated from Kenya. And my family, we are like three kids. I'm the firstborn. My, fa my dad and mom, then I have my brother that follows me is a boy, is in form two, and my sister is in grade six, like we call them class, class back in Kenya. Okay. Okay, very good. Yeah. I noticed when your uncle brought you here that you spoke a different language. What, what language was that? What language do you speak? That, that's my native language. It's called Lu. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like English. They say, back in Kenya, they say Luos, they learn English more than other tribes of Kenya. In Kenya, we have like 42 tribes. Yeah, so Luo is like the third largest. The third largest in Kenya. Yeah. Can you say something to us in, in your language so we can kind of get an idea of what it sounds like? Yeah. So in Luo, if we want to greet someone, you say Nango. Nango is N-A-N-G-O. It's like, how are you? And they will reply, Adima Bear. And if you want to say morning, you say Ichiu Nade. Yeah. Oh. And they reply, Achiu Bear. To mean, I've woken up well. Yeah. And they like greeting hands. Back at home, oh. we, we greet each other by shaking hands. Is it a regular shake like this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about eye contact? Do you like look at each other? Is that a respectful thing or not? Or back at home. You can tell this personal space thing. We're both making us uncomfortable, by the way. Hang in there, buddy. <laughs> We're both like, what? Back at home, it's the, the young ones, they, it's, they treat it like uh, it is disrespectful to look at the elderly in the eye. So you have to like look down. That's a sign of respect. Yeah. See, in our culture, when we're young, yeah. we're taught to look our parents in the eye or they think we're lying. So they want us to look, <laughs> and say, look at me. You know? If we're not, they think something's up. So yeah. that's, that's just the opposite. Okay, they, that's if you look at your parent when they're talking to you, like when they're lecturing you, they treat it like a kind of you are disrespectful. Yeah, so you have to like show some kind of respect. Okay. That's, yes. That's very good to know. Excellent. Yes. So this is the first time that you left Kenya, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and how old are you? I'm 19. 19. Yeah. Okay. And why did you pick Why did you pick the United States to come for your education? What what was the reason for coming here in the United States? Okay. So my uncle, he came here like 25 years ago. He's a citizen. So he promised me that if I passed my high school, he like find for me a college here to change the learning experience. So I liked it. And so I passed, I got a grade B. So he felt it was nice to him. So he sponsored me, all the stuff, like the visa, the fee, air ticket. Yeah, and that's how I landed in Texas. I've been working with his uncle for about eight months. A lot of people don't understand when international students, they just don't jump on a plane and say, hey, you know, I want to come. It's, 
sometimes eight months, a year and a half of back and forth emails, paperwork, and it's it's complex. So that's good. Yeah. You have a very good uncle. That's that's good. Thank you. All right. Um, so, have you been in a classroom yet? This is the first classroom you have been in, correct? Is this the first classroom you've been in? Out of high school. Okay. Yeah. So, in the United States, this is the very first room as far as classroom in the UK. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing it. So, you haven't met a teacher yet. You don't know what a classroom looks like. Not yet. Okay. So, this will be your first college class also? Yeah, I just left high school in 2013. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. So, misconceptions a lot of times we misunderstand or we think we know something and we really don't and so one of the things we want to ask you what do you think about the United States what have you heard in your country what do they say about the United States in general are we good people are we bad people are we fat people <laughs> what, what, what do you know about the people in yeah I'm sorry I, I want to sit on his lap okay <laughs> Okay, back at home, the general knowledge is like, it's that in the United States, people are kind of independent. You know, in Kenya, it's a communist kind of generation where, like, the neighbor, you can walk to your neighbor, talk to him anytime. But in the United States, it's different. Like, your neighbor, you give them their space. Back at home in Kenya, your neighbors, you associate a lot. Even at midnight, you can go there. You talk, you, it's communist. The, the things you do there, it's like communal. Treating kids, teaching, the whole community participates. Like when I came, the whole community came like to bid me farewell. The town, like my friends, my parents, my dad's parents, yeah. Um. What about the, the people? Do you, how do you expect to be treated? Do you think that we're, and you, you kind of answered that, but what do you expect, how are you gonna be treated here? I kind of expect. It's a tough question, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I expect people to be friendly. Yeah, back at home we say that in the United States people are friendly more than the people back at home. So I kind of expect a friendly environment for learning, conducive for learning and for interacting. So you expect it to be very interactive with, with your teachers and with students and, and the community, be very interactive? Yeah. Okay, good. That's good. I, I hope that's true. That's, that's good. Um, what are the places you like to see in the United States? What have you heard? What, what are some places that you just know you want to see because you're excited about it? What, what have you heard? The places I've heard of the Grand Canal. Where is it located? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've also heard of the is it the Empire State Building, mm -hmm. and also New York. I would like to at one time be in New York. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now, what are your education goals? What 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 major are you going to study here? What do you what do you want to learn? I want to major in nursing. Okay. My my uncle he also did nursing. He's a nurse. My other uncle. He's a nurse, a nurse. He lives in, tech, in Fort Worth. He works at Fort Worth Hospital. So he kind of inspired me. So I want to follow in his footsteps. Good. Okay, good. Good. So do you plan on being, how long do you plan on being here? Do you want to get, and you might not know the structure yet, do you plan on getting uh, your two year degree or your bachelor's in nursing? What, how, how much education do you plan on getting here? After my degree, I was planning of, if I do well, I was thinking of working well, I proceed up to the master's oh. and maybe up to the PhD, God willing. So, so you're all in. Okay, well, that's, that's good to know. That's good. Yeah. All right. Um, we'll take a quick little break. Is there any questions right now that we have? Because we're, we're going to get in the education part here in a second, but is there any questions? Um. I know you said your uncle sponsored you, and, and, and that's part of the reason you came here. Yeah. But, you know, you came a long way. I mean, yeah. were you a little bit afraid of that? I mean, what gave you the courage to, to make that choice to come all the way over here as opposed to staying closer to your family? The, what encouraged me was that coming here, I knew my uncle, he has settled here a long time. So I knew I won't be, like, lonely. I won't. 
I will like I will say with his family, so they will like make familiarize me with the environment. So it's kind of well, let me ask you this is a good question then. If if you had the money without your uncle, okay, and you just somehow had a lot of money, um, would you come to the United States by yourself and, and live in the dorm with, with no connections just by yourself? Would would you consider that or or was your uncle the main reason because you had that security? It was the main reason. But if I had the money, I would also just come to live in the dome to to find the experience. Yeah. yeah. What are, and you might not have any, but do you have any like concerns or maybe fears or, or maybe, man, I'm not so sure about, about the United States. Do you have any kind of concerns? No, not that, not of now. No. That's good. <laughs> good. <laughs> good. Glad to hear that. Yeah. Uh, Explain what your education system, and I know it's high school, but explain what your education system's like in, in, in your uh, area, in your province. What, what's a typical classroom look like? How many people are in a classroom? What's a teacher look like or do or don't do? Or? Okay, okay, it's called high school. The, do you call it the same way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the class setup is like you have a desk, desk that you can open this way and it's kind of things are kind are done manually. The teachers they write with chalks. The technology is not that embraced, but they're embracing it now. And the class setup you see it like two to per desk, and you maintain the same position. So we like wake up. We live in the dome. We wear uniforms. So and game skates we are given. So we wake up at four. You be in class by four up to six, that's the morning preps. Then you go back in the dorm, you take breakfast, you come back, class start from seven up to four class. Then we have lunch break at, at one for around 40 minutes. The teachers are kind of straight. Yeah. So you have to be on your feet. You have to be running to class from one class to the other. Like when you're going to the laboratory, it's kind of fun because everyone, <laughs> everyone is in uniform, so you you don't like feel like we are the same uniform. So you don't feel discouraged. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Then after we have supper break at six, the food, the meals the school provides same for everyone. Not yeah. And it is cooked in the, it is included in the fee. So the meal break for supper is six to six forty five. By six forty five, the evening prep starts up to ten. Yeah, it's kind of exhausting. <laughs> but, yeah. It's serious. <laughs> yeah. uh, then we go to sleep at ten. You should after that. <laughs> <laughs> What about the interaction with your teacher? The teachers, we interact Can you them. just say, hey, how's it going? Can you do that? Or is it very respectful? How's the interaction with your, your teacher? It's very respectful. If you see a teacher, you should run. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like the deputy principal was very harsh. So the students, even if you didn't do anything, he just felt some kind of fear. If you see his car, Approaching, just run. Because <laughs> you know he will find a mistake even if we didn't have it. So when you see the deputy, the teachers just check my shirt, is it clean? My shoe and the brush. Yeah. But the teacher, yeah, we well, you're gonna enjoy it here. This is gonna be, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be nice. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of fun. Yeah. Any other questions we can add to this now? Build on to this a little bit? Does anybody ever complain about the homework? Do, you, do they complain to the teachers, oh, we don't want to do this? Why do we have to do this? Yeah, it, it's a typical, you must have some people who must complain, but they do it so that the teacher can't notice. Oh, but they don't say it to the teacher. Yeah, they just say, they mama. Yeah. But if, the teacher, <laughs> if the teacher notices you, you'll, you are in much, so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Like in our high school, the punishment was slashing the grass. Mm -hmm. yeah. The teacher will take you to the football pitch, like slash. So, and you you also suspended, like if you missed class. So we like, 
we were law abiding. The rules made us to be law abiding. Yeah. You, you talked about food. Yeah. And and you're going to be uh, fortunate because of your uncle, and he's probably going to be very sensitive about the transition of your diet. Um, a lot of our students go from one, and, and we do not eat healthy, by the way. <laughs> At least I know. <laughs> you know hot dogs, sodas, chips, and it, it's not good on their system at, at all. So, so give us a, a typical food or diet that you eat in, in your country. What, what are some things that you said that they fix you dinner? What, what would be a dinner at school? At school? Yeah. What's a typical at school, dinner? The staple food for Kenya was ugali. It was, do you know maize? Mm -hmm. So maize, it is dry, then it is grinded oh. at the sawmill. That's the way? No, at the, wow. we have like the mills mm -hmm. to make it into flour. Wow. Then it is cooked for around 15 minutes. Wow. The white, I don't know whether any of you have seen it. It's white, it's kind of like cake, but it's made of maize. So that was the staple food. So we took it like Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Beans, you took, you take that one and beans and vegetables and also there was beans combined with maize. They are cooked together. So those were the kind of food and rice. So rice was like Christmas. We <laughs> ate it once a week on Sunday. So the day we ate rice, we call it mchele in Kiswahili. So the day that we ate rice, we only ate it once on Sunday lunch. So that day everyone was like running to the that dining hall. People are very happy because we ate it once a week. And also we ate meat twice, Wednesday night supper and Saturday supper. You are given like two pieces. <laughs> yeah, so if you missed a piece, you didn't enjoy your supper. <laughs> we, it would be rude, but we should weigh them now. <laughs> and then three years later, we won't do it. <laughs> yeah. okay. So when people come out of school, they're very happy. The freedom, you don't have to wear the uniform. Yeah. And also going to high school was kind of fun. Everyone wants to go to high school from primary. It was nice, a nice experience. Yeah. Okay, I have, I have one more. I think we have time, right? A couple minutes. Um, it, since you've never left Kenya before, what what does your house look like? And then, I have never been to your uncle's house, so I don't know, but it's probably different. So explain the differences of, of where you live and what your uncle's house looks like. What was the difference? And were you surprised? The weather back in Kenya is a Mediterranean, so most of the time it's hot, but not hot. So we don't have like the heaters. The temperature is just the room temperature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the house, we had like three bedrooms. I shared a room with my brother. My sister had her own room. And my parents' room, the sitting room. We had bedroom, toilet, and to separate to the bedroom. So we call we call them toilets, not bathroom like mm -hmm. this. Yeah. And it was with one flat. Yeah. And and when you seen your uncle's house for the first time, what did you think? I saw the heat and the stuff. It's a good thing he had heat, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Just, <it's a> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. So back at home we don't have them. Only places like the banks, hospitals. Mm -hmm. That's where you have the heaters. Major homes. Temperature is just room temperature. Don't have. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else? Now, we need to kind of think what we might want to ask him two years from now or a year and a half. So, is there anything we need to kind of cover now to ask him? I, I sometimes wonder and concern that uh, international students become lonely, they miss their family. And, friends. You've got your uncle in town, but uh, do you use like a, a, a phone or something to uh, either talk or to see a video like Skype of, of your uh, parents? So my dad, we majorly talk through email. Email? Oh. Yeah. yeah. And maybe phone. It's expensive to call from here to Kenya. Yes. It's yeah. much cheaper if they call. So we majorly text, wow. like my mom, I text my mom money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my grandma, she was like kind of my inspiration. So I like, she like, she likes praying for me. Mm -hmm. 
something. So at times I text her, then she calls me. She prays for me over the phone. Uh, then okay. after that we say amen. Then she asks me how my how and my parents, my education, some words of wisdom. Yeah. When is when's the next time you plan on going back to Kenya? When's when's the next do you have a trip or is it gonna be here a while? When's when's the next one? Well, and by the way, some of our students don't go home for four, five, six, seven years. They're they they're committed and, and they don't have the money to go back and so I was thinking because the the ticket was expensive. I was thinking maybe I'll clear my education, get some employment. That's when I'd go back, like upgrade the home. Yeah. So it could be a while. When, yeah, when I, yeah, it'll be a while. Okay. It's, it's good. Okay. We did that within about 25 minutes. Anything else? <clears throat> okay. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. You're very good.